Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, welcome to my, uh, my final presentation, but I'm not the last one today, right? No, no I'm, I'm happy about that, so that's good. <laughs> um, so I, uh, uh, my, the topic of my presentation is measuring uh, carbon emissions in cloud environments. And uh, with that, I actually wanted to introduce all of you to a uh, project that uh, I'm personally involved in. Um, uh, the project is called the Echo Digit uh, Project. It's a government-funded project uh, in Germany, uh, which is actually tackling this, uh, this problem to uh, measure carbon emissions in cloud environments and software applications. Yeah, so uh, I'm the uh, CEO of Scale-Up Technologies. Uh, we actually run data centers uh, and cloud infrastructure in Germany. We are also a member of the uh, Open Compute Project, and we are also a service provider within the Open Compute Project, to give you a quick overview. So yeah, to, 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 to introduce uh, the, the topic a little bit, um, I, I brought a few uh, facts um, around it. So approximately two to three percent of all uh, of, of the world's greenhouse gas emissions are actually coming from the I ICT industry in general. So that's one, one to 1.17 gigatons uh, CO2. Um, and projects and projections uh, suggest that by 2025, which is just next year, right, um, uh, the ICT sector will total 20% of energy usage and 5.5% of emissions. Um, so I didn't come up with these numbers. Uh, I have referenced them. Uh, there's an appendix to the presentation where you can look it up. Uh, but just to give an overview of, of the uh, of the of the size of the problem that uh, we're actually um, tackling. So um, the consumption of energy um, by, by the hardware itself, that's uh, rather, rather easy to, to, to encompass. I mean, you can, you can just measure how much energy a server is drawing, so that's rather, rather simple. But in essence, um, the software actually decides on what the hardware is doing, so it's more or less the software which decides on how much uh, energy uh, is used and uh, in the end uh, how, uh, how much emissions or uh, how the carbon footprint of that software is. And so the, well, the, the big problem is that, well, most uh, software developers out there, they, they, they don't have any chance to actually see what their software is doing in regards to the, uh, the carbon footprint uh, and to the energy use of the hardware. So um, what there needs to be is, uh, there needs to be a, a better way for, for, for people developing software, writing software, and at the same time also people using software uh, to, to have better telemetry and better monitoring in place to actually see what the software is doing and to see uh, the carbon footprint of a piece of software because in the end, well, maybe it's better to use Microsoft Word compared to uh, OpenOffice or LibreOffice or whatever, but there's no way for, for a consumer of the software uh, to, to actually see which one is better, right? So uh, this is where uh, the idea for the Echo Digit project uh, comes in. So the uh, overarching goal of the project is to create more transparency around this whole uh, uh, problem field, so to say, in order to create uh, or to standardize on how to actually evaluate a piece of software or a cloud application um, on the fact that how much, how much energy it is consuming and uh, also about uh, what the actual carbon footprint um, of this application actually is. So the uh, project, as I said, is funded by the uh, German Federal Ministry of Economic Affairs and Climate Action. Um, it was uh, awarded um, uh, some funding uh, late last year, and uh, we are uh, part of uh, the project and, and working on it. So the main goal of the project is to develop a piece of software um, which can 
hopefully at least <laughs> in the end, uh, automatically evaluate an environment like a cloud environment or a piece of software um, and then display uh, uh, the person who, who, inputs, uh, who inputs that piece of software or the cloud environment and show key figures on how this piece of software, how this cloud environment is actually uh, performing, how much energy it is consuming. Uh, it will show the uh, CO2 emissions and, and so on. So um, basically, um, uh, this uh, well, this software supposedly wants to become like a monitor application, so to say, where you put something in and you you get something out. Um, uh, well, the project focus well, we cannot do it for any software out there, right? I mean, this will probably be way too much even for, for this uh, rather large project. Um, so there's four focus areas that we are, uh, we are focusing on. So one is uh, cloud platforms where we will actually use an uh, OpenStack-based cloud platform where we have full control on the hardware stack. The hardware stack will use uh, OCP hardware as well. Um, we will also focus on uh, measuring mobile networks, uh, uh, end user devices, mobile devices, and edge computing. Um, just to give you an overview who is involved in this, um, so these are all the members of the project. Um, we are also working within this project. Um, and yeah, the approach is to come up with, uh, it's not only about building a piece of software to validate that software, but uh, at the same time, we are also trying to come up with an assessment method on how actually, uh, so how can we actually accom accomplish all of that, right? So uh, as I said, uh, measuring uh, power consumption of, of a server is, is probably the, the easiest part, uh, so to say, uh, but at the same time, um, the a bit more difficult part is already to to see um, if you if you look at the server and the server is drawing that much power, how much of that power can be attributed to the piece of software that you're actually wanting to test. So currently, like in a in a public cloud environment, there's no way for 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 an end user or the user of a virtual machine to see uh, how much power he's actually taking. Right. So uh, we're trying to build a piece of software which we will later uh, also try to upstream into, into OpenStack, uh, which will be able to, well, hand this data out all the way up to the application or to the virtual machine or to the container to actually see that. But at the same time, and this is the uh, far, more, far more difficult things, um, uh, the idea is also to look at the actual physical infrastructure running this piece of software and to, uh, see uh, what the uh, carbon footprint of that physical infrastructure actually is. And for that, we are, uh, we are working closely with the Öko Institute in Germany. I mean, they're uh, highly regarded in, in, this, uh, in this field. And they will actually look at uh, the raw materials used within the equipment. And at the same time, they will also try to uh, uh, figure out uh, how many chemicals, what type of chemicals have actually been used for producing that piece of hardware, right? And this is really a rather, rather difficult part of the whole project. And basically what we then want to do, we want to bring all of this together and then come up with uh, a true carbon footprint and try to, try, to, try to show this. So as I said, the use cases are uh, mainly uh, cloud, and there we look both at the public clouds. So we will also try to run some of these tests on hyperscalers, but also on private cloud, edge, uh, mobile networks, and mobile devices. So uh, we're not there yet, um, but uh, the project has started late last year. Um, and to, to uh, well, why am I standing here and, and talking about that? Because uh, we, uh, as, as myself and our company, try to introduce uh, the Open Compute project into the EchoDigit project because we believe that it actually makes a lot of sense to uh, 
uh, to not work twice or three times on things, but try to actually work with others and see uh, who is also doing some work in this field. So uh, we have introduced uh, OCP to, to the rest of the consortium members in the project. And um, as I said, integrating uh, the scope three emissions into our assessment method is, is, uh, is probably a difficult part. And uh, here I, I believe that OCP can actually help, or at least there's a very large community of very uh, talented people that we can actually talk to. So we maybe don't have to do everything on, on our own. And at the same time, the, the software tools that are uh, getting developed uh, within the project um, may also be interesting for the, uh, for the OCP community. Um, so that is also another thing where uh, we think it makes sense to, to, to bring the two together. So to sum it up, um, uh, my call to action is um, I, I, I would invite everyone to, to look, look up uh, the project. You can scan the QR code or just look it up uh, on Google, uh, follow the project, maybe take part in the project. And what I uh, would also like to understand is, and maybe someone can share some info, whether um, whether there are certain projects within the OCP community that we as a project should get involved with, and maybe the other way around, right? So with that, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, one question. So you mentioned about comparing different applications. So like this word example, uh, it's pretty easy because then you can do a comparison like apples to apples. But how will you compare, you know, applications with different feature set between each other and assess which one is better, which one is worse? Well, it, it's not necessarily only comparing applications, but actually showing this application has this CO2 footprint, right? And yes, we are more or less uh, we're more focused on a bit more complicated applications, which is not a single piece of software running on a single machine, but rather like a distributed one where you have some load balancing, some database, some application servers, and all of that right running in containers and on multiple servers, and actually figure out what's the footprint. Network is also a part which should come into the equation, and so on. Yeah, can but we just wait the follow up until after so we get this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, how have you standardized the power draw of the hardware that those that the applications are being run on? How have you standardized uh, quantifying the power draw? Because sometimes is it is it the socket power or is it the power so, of the CPUs? So to be very transparent we haven't figured it out yet, right? right we are still working on it. I mean, we were just, well. with, with such a large consortium, it's rather difficult to like agree on everything, but uh, th there will be two approaches. We will look at like the, the socket power or like the power management uh, from the BMC of the server. And at the same time, we will also look like at the at rec level and put those two together to make sure that we don't mix it up. Christoph, thank you very much. Thank you.